Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board-certified psychiatrist, a spiritual psychotherapist, and a Mastery of Life mentor. And uh, I want to talk about uh, a, a technique, sort of a technique to interrupt and change gears and, and uh, do something different from a behavior that is dysfunctional and, uh, you know, and disturbing and, and, and not healthy. Uh, um, this stems from something I saw, uh, the treatment for trichotillomania. Trichotillomania is uh, hair pulling. People uh, twist their hair and pull it out, their, their hair, their eyebrows. Uh, and uh, it's really, it's really a, a bad deal. Uh, and it, you know, it's not only is it disfiguring, it's shaming. It, it's, it's really, it's, it's a very tough illness. And um, and so, yeah, there are medications for it, but there are also stopping or interrupting techniques. And uh, there's a, there's three parts to it, and it's pretty intuitive. But I thought I would mention it and also apply it to uh, help help you you to apply it to other areas. It's not just trichotillomania. It applies in pretty much in every aspect of a, of a problem you might have. The first step is notice the behavior. Recognize that you're doing it. A lot of times we are on automatic pilot. So somebody will be like, uh, they're anxious or they're you know, watching TV or we're at a library working or reading and, and they're twisting their hair and pulling it out and you know twisting their eyebrows and plucking them out and, uh, and they're not conscious that they're doing it. Okay, and so you need to uh, first, uh, you know, notice the behavior, catch yourself doing it. Then you have to uh, interrupt the behavior. You need to force yourself to stop doing it. And that's really difficult because there's this very strong drive to do this thing. Uh, it's, an, it's, it's an impulse control disorder. You've got, the, you can't control the impulse to do this. You keep doing this. And so, uh, yeah. So it's tough to interrupt it and stop it, but that's what you have to, by your sheer willpower, force yourself to do. And the way you force yourself to do it is by having a, a number three. And the number three is to choose an alternative action, an alternative behavior. So you force yourself to stop twisting and pulling out your hair and you pick something else to do. Uh, it might be, you know, it might be clipping the dog's nails. It might be, uh, just petting the dog. It might be watering the plants. It might be balancing your checkbook. It might be, uh, you know, preparing lunch. It might be a million and six different things, but you need to redirect your attention elsewhere, put your attention elsewhere, and, and put your conscious attention elsewhere. So, uh, and, uh, and if you do this repeatedly, persistently, you know, you know, you know uh, every single time you catch yourself doing this behavior, you catch it, you recognize it, you interrupt it, and you put your attention somewhere else and insist upon doing something else, you will break the habit because ultimately that is what this is. Even if it is uh, biochemically uh, uh, induced, uh, you, you still have choices. They are still sort of, a, this is sort of your default way of, uh, of reacting uh, to anxiety or stress or whatever, and, and it can be changed. Uh, and it, it's be, be changed behaviorally by what we're talking about here. The more you change uh, this, interrupt it and do something different, you're basically changing the response to a bit, to a stimulus. Uh, and you have a new stimulus response it's conditioning, it's behavior uh, modification, and it works. You reinforce the new behavior, you do it over and over again, and it works if you work it. So the same thing is true with uh, any anything that's going on with you. So if you have a particular behavior, and certainly it could it could be along the lines of, of other forms of sort of self mutilization, like you know, like nail biting, you know, or picking at sores or, or stuff like that. But 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 uh, but I mean, like in any any behavior, even just take yelling. If you're angry and yelling, uh, you know, catch yourself, you know, catch yourself that you're yelling, that you're angry, uh, you know, catch it, recognize that behavior. Oh, I'm yelling. Because usually when we're yelling, we're just, we're so enraged. We're so full of fury and ego that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're actually imbalanced and unreasonable. And we really can't hear any, anything reasonable from anybody else. We're just on automatic pilot. We want to attack. We want to yell and scream and, and attack. And, and so it, and, and a lot of times we, we're just in it. We're automatically in it. So we need to learn to, how to interrupt it, how to recognize, oh, I'm insane right now. I'm angry. Uh, and interrupt it, stop it, and redirect the behavior. 
they, they redirect to a different alternative behavior, which would be uh, most likely, uh, you know what, I, this is not a good time to, 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 to talk. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to go and uh, water the plants and uh, you know what, or, or, or balance my checkbook and uh, take a walk and uh, we'll talk later when I'm calmer and we can have a normal conversation. Uh, you, 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 you know, any behavior, any bad habit, any behavior you don't like, this, this, this works. It's just repetition and practice and persistence, and it works. It works to break old habits and, and create new behavioral responses to, uh, to, to stimuli that generated bad responses in the past. You can do this. It doesn't matter. Recognize that you're doing the behavior you don't like. Interrupt it. Stop it. Insist on stopping it. And the only way you will be able to stop it, though, is if you're able to, to uh, redirect and put your attention in some other alternative choice, alternative task or activity. The more you do this, the more you practice this, the better you will get at this and you will break an old habit and replace it with a healthier new habit slash behavior. All right, thanks.